Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to a quick Godot 2.x tutorial. Uh, now, this is going to pretty much close out the 2.x series of tutorials, but don't worry, Godot 3 is shipping any day now. It's going to be full of massive changes, so I'm going to do a completely new tutorial series for it. But anyways, back to today's tutorial, what we're going to look at today is enabling add-ons. Now, this is a process that changed slightly from the past, so if you use Godot one point. Um, any of the later 1.x versions, uh, you used to put your add-ons in the app data folder at a global level. That is not how it works anymore. Now it works at a project level. So we're gonna look at exactly that. Now, why would you want to use add-ons? Well, they can um, add quite a bit of functionality uh, to the Godot engine. For example, the one we're gonna look at today is the HX created one called add primitives. And this enables you to use primitives directly in the editor without having to use any code. Uh, it's a handy little tool. It gives you the ability to use things like built-in, uh, they can create spheres, uh, capsules, that kind of stuff, uh, geometrics directly in the Godot editor. So we're gonna look at the process of enabling this add-on. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and download the, um, the archive right here. Just go ahead and download the zip file. Um, for this particular one, obviously your add-on may come from a different location. Uh, save it to whatever directory you want, and it will be in the folder. So you see here we've got add privilege. Now I've already actually done this one, so let's go ahead and open that guy up. And this is the guy we're gonna want. Let's go ahead and copy that out. Now going back here, I'm gonna fire up Godot. As I said, add-ons are enabled at the project level, so we're going to need to create a project. Uh, so let's open up a recent version of Godot. This is 2.1.3. And let's create a new project. So new project, project path will be, uh, put that in temp, um, Gido YT. All right, so we'll create that. That is our new project and let's go ahead and create it and open it up. So this is going to be a 3D project. We're in 3D right now. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and just add a root node to our scene. And scene, and we'll save our scene. I'm cool with the default name of node. Um, so now what we need to do is actually get that add-on into this scene. And what you need to do is open up the directory you just saved it in. So in my case, that was under uh, C colon slash, oops. Come on, C colon slash, all right. Keyboard's being stupid. Uh, GDYT. So here is the folder we want to go in. All you do is create a new directory inside of your project called add-ons. And inside of that, remember that folder we had earlier, just go ahead and paste that in. Now this is actually coming from, this is an, um, this is a zip of a GitHub archive. You could have also Git cloned it into the directory, but this is going to create, a, since, since this is a branch called master, we just need to go ahead and trim that part out. So trim you out. Bye-bye, like so. So we've got a created directory called add-ons. Inside of it, we extracted the source for our add-on. And you go in here, you'll see the key guy is going to be this plugin.gd. This is the uh, load script. So let me just show you that guy really quickly. This is the script that basically tells Godot what this add-on does. You can see here, it adds an add-on called add primitives. And it's got various details of, you know, the contents that are contained within this actual plugin or add-on. Uh, so now we've got that added in, we have one more step we have to go through. So we go scene and we'll go to project settings and we go to plugins. And you'll see here, there is now one called installed plugins. You can see add primitives before this list would have been empty. Now, if for some reason this isn't showing up, do click the update uh, key again. You might also get an error message as to why it didn't show up. But what you need to do is toggle the status from inactive to active. And boom, we're done. We now have this add-on enabled. So I click out of here and close. You can see in this particular case, it added a new menu to the 3D view. Uh, it's only gonna be in the 3D view. So if you notice I go to the 2D view, it's not there. So 3D view, click, and now I can go ahead and create things like spheres. And then I've got the control over it. This is a very cool add-on, by the way, one you should definitely check out. So I can do things like uh, smoothing the number of segments to create with the sphere. Um, I can make it hemispherical cut. Uh, so, uh, we can make it, I think this is degrees, slice from 45 to 145. And you will now see we have a sphere segment. Uh, you come over here, you can see there's a lot of other options. We've got wedge tubes, torus, spheres, solids, planes, cylinders. This is all actually supported underneath the surface, uh, but not you know, within the interface. So this is an example of why you might want to use an add-on. There's even uh, an add-on here for curved stairs. 
Very cool. Uh, so I'm not meaning to get into this particular add-on for that uh, much detail. This was more about how to actually go ahead and enable that add-on. But if you are interested, it is available at the THX um, on GitHub. I will link this down below in the comments. And really, that's all we are covering today. It's a very simple process of setting up that add-ons, but it might not be completely intuitive. So really, the thing is, you get the archive that you want, and you throw it in a subfolder that you have to create called add-ons, and then you create your folder underneath. You go into your project settings, you go into the plugin settings, and you set the current add-on to active, and you are done. And that's it for today. I hope you did find that useful. If you did, of course, please do click like, and if you're into all kinds of game development tutorials, do hit subscribe and notify, and this is the stuff we do here. Um, also, I'm kind of at the end of the stuff for Godot 2.x, but if there's anything I really missed, do let me know and I'll make sure that I add it into the series, in the playlist, etc. So if there's something specific on the Godot engine you want to see me cover um, that isn't going to be completely different or isn't overwhelming for like the 3.0 version, because that is literally around the corner, uh, I hope, um, do let me know and I will uh, close out the series with uh, those additions. So again, hope you enjoyed that. I will see you all later. Uh, goodbye for now.